All right, does this go in? How successfully fail at Portal 2? Everybody's, everybody's been like, before Portal 2 got released, you've got to play this on release, OTG. You've got to play Portal 2. And I, you'll know right then, I, I said Portal. Portal. I, I am capable of saying Portal, not Portal. But I mean, teas are expensive. Teas are expensive. You can't just be throwing your... T I, don't, I don't have all your fucking caches and your, your cash monies to be throwing around teas everywhere. I'm not, we're not all fancy up here at north of England. We don't, we don't have cash. I mean, times are tough. We've got, to, we've got to be conservative with our um, letters. So we don't, I, I, don't, I don't have the cash to be saying portal every two minutes. I've already given you too much there. That's too many T's already. So in case people are wondering, because I, I remember this back in the original portal. And I was going, what the fuck are you saying? I'm sure it's portal, not portal. But I should always pronounce it. I know it's not pronounced like that. But it's certainly a lot of um, Yorkshire shit. Letters get mysteriously dropped, disappeared, and some are just too expensive, in the case of T's. But everybody's saying, you've got to play this on release, OTG, you've got to play it on release. And I did. I did. I did play it on release. I did, uh, what, like, a couple of hours on release day, and then about four, well, about five and a half, no, five and a half, about three and a half on the second day. Yeah, it took me, it took me about five and a half, six hours total. And um, all was great, really great, blind run through, so great. Then it came round to editing it, and I dropped a bollock. I dropped two bollocks, two very big bollocks. And I did the thing that a playthrough fears the most. Well, there's two things a playthrough fears the most. First is that your footage is going to be corrupt somehow, like the video is just going to be fucked. In one way or another, really massively desynced, screwed up, whatever. I don't really get that often anymore, touch wood. Um, but the second one is audio, which I guess counts into the video thing, but the other one is audio, what I consider to be, um, you're either too loud or you're too quiet in regards to the game. And in some games, if you were, say, too loud and the game was too quiet, you could quite happily get away with it. Your quakes, your dooms, stuff like that, stuff that didn't really matter too much. In this game, it's tragedy. Tragedy if the game is too quiet because there's so much excellent dialogue in this game. I honestly do not give a fuck about having to play this game again. I honestly don't. I really, really enjoyed it the first time through. I was sitting at Claire. It's kind of like, it's almost like an amusement park ride. You're just along for the ride, really. I mean, there's, it seems like any of the actual gameplay in Portal 2, single player at least, is just there to make sure that you, you do remember that you're playing a game. Because I consider the rest of it just to be a fucking, an on-rail bit of story me. You're just there for the ride. Just there for the ride. And every so often, you stop to just have a bit of a play. And then you, get, you go, carry on again. Carry on with the um, game as such. <laughs> but, like I say, apologies about that. Everybody that watches my videos will know... Uh, always blind. Always blind usually in my playthroughs, or I'd say 8 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10 are blind. And it's just tragic that, I mean, my Portal 1 playthrough wasn't blind, and my Portal 2 now isn't blind either, but I did try, guys. I honestly did try. But, you, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm quite happy to play this game again. I am quite happy to play it again. Very happy to play it again. Excellent. St single player story wise Pfft. top notch well dialogue I should say not so much story, the story is nothing amazing but the um, the dialogue you excellent have been in suspension for 15 days in compliance with state and federal regulations all testing candidates in the aperture science extended relaxation center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise I didn't have the uh, things on last time you will hear a buzzer when you hear the buzzer that? look up at the ceiling subtitles sort of shit uh, no, closed captions, is it? Let's have, look, let's have a look at what it is. Or video. Uh, was it video? Audio. Yeah, closed captions. Full captions. That's it. Look up. That's gonna look. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Down. Good. Demanding the first bit of the uh, portal to. Mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. 
If you suspect I feel as mentally invigorated as the first time, that's for sure. I was looking to see if we could find something else there, but I don't think there's anything to find. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Nah, not, not quite a second. This is quite a nice picture, though. I'd, I'd like to live there, wouldn't you? Log cabin on a lake, big uh, mountain in the background, forest and shit around here. It's quite a nice, um, quite a nice place, that. I got something before making a crank phone call. Oh, fuck what? No, I used the phone. I didn't, I didn't use the bed. I used the, you saw that right on the phone with the cross. That was nowhere near the bed. Good nowhere morning. near. You have been in suspension for Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Any test Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? Have exercised his or her Hello? No. Relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. I'll just open the door! Hello, friend! Why not open the door? Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo! Abre la puerta! Donde esta... No, um... So much dialogue for fine. Wheatler. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Hello. Hello. Go on. Open the door. Hello? I didn't get this extra dialogue out of him first time. Go on. Nah, I was repeating now. Like I said, I didn't get it out of him first time because um, I didn't realise he had that much. Ha! Ah! Oh, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Like, every single time he talks, you may as well just stand there and just wait. Like, because it goes on for about another five minutes with the dialogue. Right, just stand, stand there. there. Listen to it Can all. You hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But <laughs> minor don't be alarmed, case of serious right? brain damage. Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. I could have sworn he said to me, maybe it's... No? Oh, fair enough. Okay, what you're doing there is <laughs> jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. Apple. Nah, not this time, mate. Simple word, apple. Just say apple. Classic. Very simple. His dialogue's excellent, it really is. double P-L-E. Just say apple. Easy word, isn't it? Apple. How would you use it in a sentence? Mmm, this apple's crunchy, you might say. And I'm, I'm not even asking you for the whole sentence, just the word apple. If you don't even want the whole sentence, just want Shell to actually say something. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> close enough, just All stand there like a fucking lemon. are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Save How the microwave. Are you still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? On my career, yeah, no, I went out from... 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just maybe. Get through here. Nah. <laughs> I, I just can't concentrate. 
But whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? See, test subject right, thing there. Yeah, he's fat and something else. I'm get quite time to see it, but yeah, there's different markings on it. Like he's a tall, okay, listen, fat. We should get our story straight. All right. See if that tall one, exactly. And no one's going to ask. Don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right. Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. <laughs> 600 feet below. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. <laughs> Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. There, dude. Because I think I... Right. Um... Off you go. Oh, yeah. Go on, then. Or else. Because I just fucking bolted down that first time and cut him off. <laughs> just march on through that hole. No, not yet, not yet. There. Yeah, it's alright. Go ahead. No, 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 yeah. If you're going to keep on talking to me, I, I don't want to go forward. I know, I know, I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. Smoke like a chimney through this, though. I did in the um, original run. So, once again, just move along. One small step and everything. And will be again. That's pa the spirit. Partly down, because Wheatley's got so much extra dialogue, you want to stand around there and listen to it all. That's maybe it. Yeah, don't say it for about five or six seconds, Chancel, that's it. Yeah, that'll do. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture And also the load system. screens, which I'll get onto in a minute. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. There you go. That's um, just pretty much the same as what you are in Portal 1, apart from instead of like being barefoot with the um, springs attached, which was kind of strange, it was more like a... Um, like, uh, I don't know, I don't really call it, just like a regular like modification to shill on her actual um, body in the first one. It's more like she's wearing boots now with the um, spring stuff on. But yeah, it makes me smell like a gym this fucking game. So Human many times to um, get a cheeky few lots on these again. Even in a dire emergency. If oh. emergency Cubes are nice now. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. The sort of the elevators as well, so if there's dialogue going while you're going down the elevators, it just carries on going down the elevator until the dialogue finishes, which I did like it a lot. The load screens, however, I do not like. And it's not because they're if so frequent. It's not that that bothers me. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh dear. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's not the number of load screens that bothers me. It's not the loading times that bother me because the load, I mean, the number of load screens isn't so bad. I mean, you do an area load screen, you do an area load screen. That's not so bad, that doesn't bother me. And the load times, they're quick, they're fast. I don't mind them, that's all right. What? It, it's not like it bugs the shit out of me. It's not like it's a huge complaint. It's not like I downmarked the game because of it. But I preferred Valve's old style of load screens where the screen just kind of freezes and it comes up in the middle, loading. And then once it's loaded, it goes back into the game. I prefer that 
because it doesn't disconnect you from the game. Like, if you're doing, say you blast through a test chamber in like 30, 40 seconds at most, and then you've got a load screen, then you do the same again, 30, 40 seconds, load screen. You're going through that chamber, disconnected by load screen. Another chamber, disconnected by load screen. Another chamber, disconnected by load screen. Whereas if it, it's just a very subtle difference where if it, the screen just pauses and goes loading and then goes back into it, it doesn't feel like you've been taken out of the game. The loading time doesn't seem a big deal. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal in this, but, you know, just, that's, I mean, I don't know if that's just me or what, but it just, like I say, it feels like it takes you out of the game a bit too frequently. Not for a long amount of time. Not, like, for an annoying, like, period of time or an annoying um, number of times. It just seems like they had it right to begin with through Half-Life and um, Portal 1. And, I don't know, maybe they just wanted to change it for something different. Maybe they thought it'd be better, but I think it disconnects you a little bit. When the old way was fine. In fact, the old way was superior to um, a, an actual load screen. It was more like a load time rather before than a loading screen. Now it's gone back to like every other game's loading screen. Maybe there's a reason they've done that. I'm not sure. There's probably there probably is a reason, Ben. I don't think um, Valve does shit just for shits and giggles. We want that oh, one. This one first over. Grab the cube. I would say apologies if I um, rinse through some puzzles a little bit quick, guys, but don't worry, I'll still get stuck on some of them. I don't think I'll um, rocket through every single fucking puzzle. But even the first time, first time, I only got stuck on a couple of puzzles for about because five of minutes the at most. Difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. I ain't writing down me on shit, fuck that. Associate will revive you for an interview. <coughs> society has been Excuse rebuilt. me. Bit of a weak cough there, but I, don't, I, don't, I didn't want to blast it down microphone. Just all there fucking getting all chilled out and into the game and shit like that. It's like, bruh, 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 bruh. That fucking mic. Yeah, like I said, I got stuck on a couple of puzzles for about five minutes, but if the Earth is currently overall, it's an easier game in my opinion. Cloud or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable it's the Animal King Sentry Gun Turret. The size of him, man, he's a fucking beast. He is the Animal King Turret. I mean, he just flies down into fucking United Nations Conference, man. You're like, oh, fuck. Everybody fucking around. I bet you're telling it with France and Sweden straight out of the door first, wasn't it? Straight out of fucking door. Or Finland, sorry. Is it Finland? I can't remember. No, no offence to um, France and um, Finland or Sweden or whichever one it fucking was. But France is usually first out at the door and um, hey, others are right neutral. You made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Not yet, not yet. Not quite yet. It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about it. If you don't have the closed captions on oh, there, right. you I've don't know that yeah. he's called Wheatley for like about two hours, you, maybe just, more. Okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. Doesn't say his name for ages. That's it, yeah, no, that's it, yeah. And then go, oh, I'm Wheatley and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't he, 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 he introduce himself. So some folk um, call him Wheatley. So I, before I even started playing the first time, I knew that it were called Wheatley. I th think that's it. And then people were calling me and I'm like, fuck, is that a slight spoiler or something like that? But nah, not really. If you have close captions, I'll tell you straight away. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. <laughs> Alright, brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. I think that's all he says. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pot opening. Electrical sparks. <laughs> Just in case you can't hear them, guys. It's, quite, it's fairly interesting with closed captions on actually. I didn't think it would go all the way by saying like, oh, portal gun activated and all other shit like that. I think that was the original GLaDOS. When there was actually scientists nearby. 
And then shit just went a bit dodgy. You know, people started having like weird 